Hello everybody, my name is Dustin, and I was going to show you some of these bottles that I have collected since I was a little kid. Um, I stopped collecting them once I got into high school, which I really should keep collecting them, but I'm going to show you some. Um, tell me what you think, if you think they're a good collector's item, if they're worth money, uh, or what you think, or if there's any other people out there interested in old bottles. Here, let me know tell me what you think. Um, first... I have these, I have six of these. They're a St. Louis Blues commemorative bottle. I'm guessing they came out somewhere in 73, 74 because the last date on here is 73. It goes from 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, and 73. And it gives the whole Stanley Cup record. Um, it says it's a deposit bottle on it. And it's a 16 ounce, I guess one pint. Um, in the front it says St. Louis Blues, six years in the NHL, six years in the playoffs, commemorative bottle, home of the Blues, and it has the old arena thing on it. I don't know how you can well you can see it because I got one of those little flip video cameras. Not a bad camera, but not that great. This is Pepsi Cola, as you can see. There's all the dates. I have six of these things. Five of them I found in a basement in a box, empty. But I found the sixth one in a flooded out basement from a flood house in Valley Park, Missouri in 1993 that still has soda in it and has a sealed cap. I got another bottle here that is a, looks like an old ketchup bottle. On the bottom it says Brooks. I'm not exactly sure what that means but it says Tangius. T-A-N-G-Y dot E-S-T. And that's what it looks like right there. Okay, that's nothing. This is an old corker bottle. It's kind of damaged, some of the peelings off of it. This here is an old 7-Up bottle. Probably hard to see. Let's see if you can see anything. But anyway, I really ain't got no dates or nothing on the bottom of it. I wish I had some better light. I do it in the kitchen, but I'm not going to bring all my bottles in here. On the bottom of this... It says, not to be refilled. I mean, I don't know how old it is. Yeah, it says no refills on top. But it could just be one of those little bottles that they didn't refill. And, of course, your normal 10-ounce uh, old Pepsi bottles. They're probably pretty common. And then I got this one that I haven't ever seen before. This one looks probably older. It says sparkling Pepsi Cola 12-ounce. It's two ounces more than those, but I think this one may, this one here may actually be older than these ones. Not too sure. Okay, let's see what the back, this one's on the back of this one, but it has like a little, little decorative glasses Pepsi Cola. You don't see those nowadays. I mean, but I thought it was pretty cool. Pretty good condition for what it is. May have some, a little bit of scratching down there. This is another 10 ounce bottle. I'm guessing this is another non-deposit bottle. I'm not sure. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't see no deposit, but... It's another 10 ounce bottle. Look at that. You can tell how small that one is, but yeah, it's still 10 ounces. And it says Pepsi on one side and Pepsi Cola on the other side. And this is a no return bottle of Pepsi. It's another 10 ounce bottle. It says Pepsi Cola on one side. Still kind of dirty. Needs to be cleaned more. And uh, that's just your 100th anniversary. And um, your Crown Royal bottle, RC. I'm trying to remember, this is a half quart bottle. It's a more decorative bottle, RC. And this really, it's a really big bottle. And on the back it says RC, 16 ounce, one pint. And on there, still okay condition, not the best. This is an old Mountain Dew bottle, only one I've ever seen. But it's scratched off. Right here, you can still kind of see the guy with a cork going through the hat on here, but you can really see it right there. Let's see, zoom in on see if we can see it better. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a really cool thing to see. I like Mountain Dew. Um, this here has like a little guy shooting up a hill at another hillbilly, but it's pretty scratched up. I was told it was Mountain Dew by my grandpa, because I guess he's the only one who can remember, because I was too young. I'm only 25. This here is a Dr. Pepper bottle. It says the Money Back bottle right on top there. Money Back bottle right by the Dr. Pepper. And it's a 16 ounce, one pint also. Um, pretty big bottles. I got a shoe polish bottle, which my friend lost. I actually had the old cork. It was kind of decay a little bit with the metal piece and a little black thing on the bottom but of course my friend tore it out and lost it really ticked me off I'm not sure what this bottle is um 
or this bottle. I guess this is some type of perfume bottle. Kind of weird shape, you know. You know they're old when they're weird shape and heavy. Okay, and this is something that I've had quite a few people interested in. It's a Pure X bottle. Old Pure X bottle. Pure X. I mean, it's still kind of dirty inside. And this one still has a cap on it. Of course, it's empty. But I found it with the cap, so I thought that was pretty interesting. It says Pure X on the cap. I don't know how you can see it. But I had a couple people come in and actually look at these and offer to buy them. But I was too young then and didn't know how much they're worth. And, you know, it was more sentimental than anything for me finding them. Um, I also have these over here. I don't know how many people be from St. Louis. But I dug this out of the ground. This is, says the 1811 South 14th Street, Lafayette Dairy, St. Louis, Missouri. And it contains 12 ounce liquid. I don't know what kind of liquid was in this. If somebody could help me out, what kind of liquid was held in these things. I mean, I know it's a dairy thing. I wouldn't think milk would be in such a big, big top in it. But somebody can help me out with that. This has a big LD on the bottom. And then I got these that my grandma gave me when I was young. This is a fourth pint. They said they used to drink them in school when she was a kid. I'm guessing probably 30s, 20s, 30s maybe. It says sealed right here. And it says wash and return liquid. I'm not sure. That's, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably St. Louis Day where it came from because it's where, it's, where I'm from, St. Louis. I'm still in St. Louis. This is another one quarter pint. It has an S on it. And this one says St. Louis Dairy Co. It says 152 on the sides. Um, but it's really cool. Uh, but if anybody can help me look at some of these old bottles and tell me anything, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.